Hello friends, welcome to carlunchfix.net. My name is Rahman and today we continue a series of tutorials on car rigging in Cinema 4D. Let's don't waste time, here we go! If you remember, we stopped on this point. If you don't remember, then you have only one opinion. See the first chapter of this tutorial. Link you will found in description. We give rotation of wheel uh, when car moving forward backward and inertia of motion which also operate forward backward. But the car can move along Z axis, for example during a sharp turn or drifting. Our task to link rotation of the body on the B axis. Uh, with movement of spring in Z axis. Let's do this. Turn on rotation, rotation B. Then copy those nodes. Connect again. And testing. It actually looks great. Now we have inertia of drifting. But we can drift because we can turn, it's necessary to fix it. First, let's organize our space. Separate front wheels and back wheels. Uh, select the port H axis. And now we want to create a control that will turn the wheel on the H-axis. Create element of control. Go to user data, uh, manage user data and add data. Rename this to control. In data type we see many different options, but in this case set float and in interface set float slider. In example tab uh, we can see how looks like our float slider. In the default value we set 50%. This means by default our slider is set on 50%. Now combine the control with H axis to the wheels uh, through the range mapper node. In node properties we set input range to percent and in output range to degrees. Set uh, for minus 107 
and minus 73. This because 180 minus 107 equals 73. Let's testing. Looks good. Let's change the view. Now we want to add this slider to viewport. Uh, but how to do that? It's really simple. Just click and drag to the viewport. Works great. Well, today we have supplemented our rig, inertia of Z axis, element of control and turning the wheels. We will continue in the next chapter and extend our rig more interesting things. If you have any question about tutorial, ask for carblanchefix.net. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.